All right, guys. So, <clears throat> I'm using my phone to do this, but uh, anyhow, earlier I showed that this starter generator, if you can see this bolt right here, and there's an ear here and an ear here, and this long bolt that goes here is cockeyed, which was making the belt throw and just all kinds of nonsense. So you can see that the there was a fan on here that I'm going to have to replace that's shot now because of it. So anyway, what we're going to do is take it apart. Uh, these are the leads, which are connected to the brushes. And they should have uh, a nut that, another <coughs> nut that goes on top of this that holds the, um, <coughs> the wires, the forward and reverse wires on to each side polarity. So uh, this is an insulator and that's uh, there. So that's loose there. And uh, I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, okay. Hope you can hear me. <clears throat> All right, so. Uh, and so, <clears throat> ultimately, what we want <clears throat> to do is, okay, so th there's one that's missing here. All right, so you see this bolt here? Th yeah, okay. So you see this bolt here? There's a bolt hole here, and it appears that it was never installed. So, or broke, or whatever happened, who knows. I'm going to get these... Uh, So that's just a magnet there. Uh, and this is a bolt that I bought. I'm going to take out and set to the side here. Like this insulator. Oops, I bumped it. Got to be careful. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, uh, strut spring off of here. Set this to the side, put this back here on here so we don't lose those. And as you can see, I wasn't prepared for this, so I'm not even using the right tools. I just got a junk drawer and miscellaneous tools everywhere. So, um, so what we're going for is we're going to take this all apart. Uh, I don't know if we're going to take it all apart. Um, but we're definitely going to take the back end off here. So, let's see, that looks like a 10 millimeter. There's a 10 of some sort somewhere. Oh, that's not looking like that one. Really not the right kind of branch, but it's uh, same size. It's just it's a it's called a line wrench. It's for doing 
like brake jobs and stuff and I just had that there so we won't lose those but that's inside there okay let's see here okay so we got something that looks like it's come apart it's just a it's a cover it appears to be brushes are good here's the brushes I don't know if you can see that that bearing could be changed out. I'm gonna change that bearing out. The other one feels good. It sounds good. This one's rough. I can feel it, and you can hear it. Uh, okay, so those are the side plugs there. And apparently, there were two others that are now missing. I think I've got some though from previous builds. I'm sure. So. Uh, So, what I'm going to do here is, uh, so, you see how these are just, you know, bouncing around like that, and if they didn't have those insulators on there, and they're not tight, they, uh, they'll short out, you know, so we don't want that to happen, uh, and this stuff all is moving the same, you know, t oh, okay, we got a problem here, see, look at that, okay, so that's an issue, that spring is broken. So, we'll have to fix that. And then, let's see if this video is still going. It looks like we're still rolling here. Okay, good deal. One, two, three. And so, this one needs some work. So, yeah, why don't we do that? We'll go ahead and take this all completely apart. And because uh, some of these springs may be, like I can see, this one feels a little, and they might be, who knows how long this has been sitting. So we'll just go ahead and rebuild this all together. And uh, <clears throat> the way we're going to do that is... I don't know if that's just going to pop out. I don't think that does just pop out of there. No. Let's see here. times it's just a case that fits over that um, I think I yeah I can get that out with uh, <clears throat> let's see there we go I almost lost everything there for a second all right so yeah we'll go ahead and since we got it apart We'll change out both those bearings. Here's an insulator here. I don't want to lose that. And there should be another one somewhere here. So anyway, it looks like we're going to take this all apart and uh, and uh, just clean it out real good and make sure maybe put some new springs in there. Like I said, these brushes are still good, so they're real good. In fact. Uh, and then we'll just we got to replace this fan anyway so uh, <clears throat> that bearing is good um, okay that's simple the fan comes off pulley comes off and then there's a three bolt four bolt three bolt uh, cover that uh, the bearing sits on or sits in so yeah <clears throat> we'll have a second maybe a third video by the time it's all done it'll be look and work better than ever we'll clean this up here uh and uh yeah and it won't cost us maybe 20 bucks all right back again